good morning. Uh, this is your Monday fire starter, and I'm sitting here on my front porch here Sunday evening recording this. I got Levi playing in the background with his homemade sword that he just made out of a piece of wood, and he's very dangerous, uh, to say the least. But I wanted to share with you, you're all familiar with this passage of Scripture, I'm sure, but it's where Paul is talking about uh, his thorn in the flesh that he prayed uh, that God would basically take it away. And it says in verse 8 of 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 8, three times, three times I pleaded with the Lord about this, that it should leave me. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly in my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest in me. For the sake of Christ, then, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. And again, this is a very familiar piece of, piece of Scripture for us, but uh, I think it's important for us to be reminded that, uh, especially as you know, I've been talking about contending for more uh, effectiveness in the kingdom. And uh, we always have to be cautious. And I was just talking to the youth group earlier uh, about this, that we always have to be cautious. This, this thing that can creep in when we least expect it is pride. And so we may be working hard for the kingdom of God and pressing in and contending, but just a little tiny bit of uh, thinking you're all that because of how well you've contended can just sour uh, the whole meal and, and just make it really bad. And so we want to be cautious about that and, and to remember to exalt more in what Christ has done even through our weaknesses, even in the moments when we didn't think we could, uh, when Christ has come and strengthened us and empowered us, when we didn't think we were enough. Uh, that's uh, where God gets the glory is in our weaknesses. And so don't be afraid of them. Uh, because it is when we are straight, uh, when we are when we are weak, rather, uh, that we are strong in Christ Jesus. So, uh, mull over that this week. Uh, that when I am weak, I am strong in Christ Jesus. Mull over that this week as you go about your your day to day business, as you do your work, and uh, and, uh, and maybe God will reveal something uh, to your heart about how you can trust Him even in your weaknesses. So, go in peace. Love you. Talk to you next week. Bye. Thank you.